Yeah, it's got my resistors in. I got some 25 watts. I ended up getting some 100 watt one ohms. These are 25 watt one ohm. I wasn't sure if I needed to adjust some things. Ended up having to order some more. And uh, anyway, two cell pack X6 uh, balance lead. This is the normal lead or the lead that comes with it, right? Right into the charger. Uh, you know what it does. It only sh what will discharge even if you set it at 30. It will only uh, like right now. Is it go down to discharge? Sorry about the uh, focus issues. I don't know what's going on with the phone, but uh, it's set at 30. I'll show you. It's set at 30, 30 amp discharge, right? So anyway, we'll go ahead and start it. You'll know you only get what three point through the charger, which. 3.6, 3.7, something like that. So, all right. So, to stop it. I uh, ended up making a resistor pack here. Uh, this is the normal, like I said, the normal plug in, right? Let me back out some normal plug. This is my resistor bank that I kind of put together real quick, so you can see. Uh, four, actually five will give you 30. This will only give you about 25 or 26. Uh, but I wanted to make sure it was on this little heat seek fan thing I made. So this is my jumper wire. That first resistor is lined in. It plugs in here. Let's see if I can, uh, yeah, it plugs in right there. Okay, plugs in. Let me put that down there. This goes into the charger right there and so now my parallel this is a plus 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 into the charger plus into my battery the balance lead is got to be plugged in let me set this so the cooling is working and i'll show you now the charger is just set at 30 amps okay it's i don't even change it basically I just leave it set at 30. i got a rod here this right here you don't mess with it's just it completes the circuit and so i will put the i'll show you with with the first resistor what it does and we'll and as i add the resistors and like i said right now the charger is just set at 30 amps to discharge and so it's discharging, right? That's, and you'll see, <clears throat> that's just one resistor. So I'm gonna add another one with this rod. That's the, jumps to, that's two resistors. No, I'm sorry, that was three. That's two resistors. Add in the third resistor. It goes to, what, 20? Hopefully you can see that, sorry about. Let's prop that up. Add in the third resistor, and let me add in a fourth resistor. Let me get this wire lined up fourth resistor sorry about that and the fourth resistor and then watch where it jumps to now you add in that the fifth resistor which would be this one here it'll go all the way up to 30 amps so like i said the charger's still set at 30 and you'll see it'll drop as i take away the resistors that's three is that 17 that's two resistors right there oh i'm sorry that's two resistors right there and then one resistor so that's it nothing really to it other than trying to figure out how to keep these things cool um so hopefully you got that or got it so let me go ahead and stop this hopefully go ahead and stop like i said charge is set at 30 and that's all i did was added resistors i took resistors away and you saw where the um the amperage went so that's about it not much to it other than like i said trying to figure out exactly how to keep it, these things nice and cool which they get smoking hot so anyway there you go quick video on what they were talking about as far as ad resistors i've yet to figure out the one cell pack because you got to have the balance lead in and every time i go to do this the balance lead needs the balance port and all this and it and it turns off so something i'm not figuring out on the one cell which is what i really wanted to do because of the 12 scale stuff so anyway thanks